Hi, everybody. This is Ian from In 30 Minutes Guides. Today, I'll be talking about what to do if you think your Gmail account has been hacked. If this video helps, please take a moment to subscribe and like the video, and let's get started. Uh, by the way, this is just a very general overview. There are some very good Google resources that explain this in more detail, but I'm just going to give you a lowdown on uh, the way it works. And this is actually after a relative experienced a hack. And uh, this is th these are the steps that are important for you to take. So the first thing to do, uh, if you think that your account has been hacked, either you can't get in or people are telling you that they're getting messages from you that don't look like they're from you, like maybe they're asking weird things like, oh, buy me an Amazon gift card. That is suspicious. You definitely want to look into it. Go to your Gmail account, log in if you can, then click on the photo your account kind of icon in the upper right corner and just uh, click it and that will bring you to the Google account and you'll come to a page like this there'll be some information about this and basically what you want to do is to go to the security tab on the left here and you'll start to see some information here about signing in uh, one very important thing to do is to have two-step verification on what this means is that when you try to log in from a new device, Google will send a text message to the registered telephone number you have just to make sure it's you. This is a really useful service to have. It's kind of a pain in certain situations, but overall I think it's a very helpful thing to have. If you do not have two-step verification on, these recommendations will tell you that you should you should get started on that. Okay, so that's one part of it. The other thing that you need, might need to do if you cannot get into your Google account um, go to the Google account help and search for account recovery page. There'll be a link like this. Click on that and you'll start to you'll start to be prompted to do this um, to enter your email address and so on. One thing that will happen actually, let's open this up in a new window is Google will start to ask you all these questions to to uh, complete your account recovery. Now, there's a couple things to know about this. One thing is, is that maybe it's not a case of someone hacking into your Gmail account. It's actually a case of you doing something that Google didn't expect. For instance, let's say that you suddenly fly to another country and you've never been, never been to that country before and you try to log in using your phone or another device to access your Google account. Google will immediately consider that to be suspicious and may lock you out. So you'll they'll start to ask you questions about things like that. Have you traveled recently, whatnot? Uh, the other thing to keep in mind about that is if you are trying to recover your account, your Gmail account, log in using the same Wi-Fi network and the same computer that you've used in the past. That will make things a lot easier. In fact, they say use a familiar device and location uh, if possible. Um, be exact with passwords and answers to security questions. So you will have created passwords before for Google and maybe security questions. So answer them exactly the way that they were set up in, in uh, Google originally. For instance, if one of your security questions relates to where you were born and you were born in Los Angeles and you type in Los Angeles, spelled the way it, it, it's officially known as, do not use LA instead or do not use all lowercase letters if before you used capital L and capital A when you were typing Los Angeles as your security question. Same thing with passwords. And by the way, they say passwords. So they're not just asking you about your latest one. They may be asking you about any recent one that you remember. So um, enter the most recent one you recall. But if you don't recall the most recent one, then the one that was before that. Use a previous password that you, that you do remember. Um, the other thing that you can do is you can have a recovery email address. So I have a recovery email address for my Gmail account. It goes to a separate account on another uh, service that I use. So they may Google may send send uh, uh, an activation link to that other email account or to your device if you have a if you have a registered uh, phone number with Google just to make sure it's you. Uh, so there may be some other details as well. And then one last thing to say about this: this has been a very general overview about trying to uh, get back into your. Google account or to recover a hacked account, um, the the thing to keep in mind is that uh, you cannot call somebody at Google to help you out. Google is really bad with that. They don't actually have human beings who will help with most things. They want to automate everything. So unfortunately, you have to follow these steps that they assign. And in some cases, they may be really difficult steps to deal with, like 
let's say you're traveling to another place or you don't have access to your phone, that will make things a lot harder to recover your Gmail account or d determine if you've been hacked in some way. So this is Ian Lamont from In 30 Minutes Guides. If you go to in30minutes.com, you can see some of the guides we have, including guides about Google, crowdfunding, uh, social security, genealogy, all kinds of things. And also, if this video helped you out, if you could like it and follow my channel, I try to release new videos every week that basically help people use these mildly complex tools. This is Ian Lamont signing off. Thank you so much for watching.